How's it going everybody? Mark Bray here and this is my very first Battered and Brewed feature. Uh, thank you for all the folks over at Battered and Brewed wanting to know how I make my game day chili. Of course, uh, I am celebrating the Miami Hurricanes win over Florida State. It's been seven years and I'm so happy I'm going to celebrate this until the next year's game. Okay, so enough about football. Let's talk about chili. So I went ahead and got started. I'm browning the meat as we speak. Now, of course, you can use whatever type of meat you want. You can use chicken, you can use turkey, you can use, uh, use ground beef. I like to use about uh, two-thirds ground turkey, a third extra lean ground beef. You know, you gotta eat healthy these days and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so we've got that going here in the pot. Now, here are the other ingredients that I use for my, uh, for my chili. So, of course, here, you got your black beans, okay? You got your garbanzo beans, which is a new thing for me. Uh, my wife turned me onto those. If you don't put them in chili, give it a shot. I promise you, you'll like it. You got your mushrooms and your diced green chilies. You've got your uh, tomatoes all chopped up and diced with onions and things like that, but there's no onions in this one, and I'll tell you why in a minute. And then you've got your dark kidney bean and red bean medley. Now, why is it a medley? Well, for no other reason than I just didn't want to use another bowl. Anyway, okay, then you have your chili powder. You got your salt. You got your cumin. Cumin is very, very important. You're going to want to use cumin. But don't use too much because then it's just going to taste like Taco Bell and nobody wants that. Not that there's anything wrong with Taco Bell. And then you have your black pepper. And then your hot sauce. Now, everybody has a different type of hot sauce that they like. Everybody likes, you know, you like your, uh, your Texas peach, your crystal. It doesn't matter. Use whichever one you want. For today, we're going with Cholula. Cholula. I like Cholula. You can't go wrong with the wooden top. So once you have your meat going, and you got that all browned, you can drain it. You don't have to. Sometimes people like to drain it to get all the different types of uh, goo out of there. Me, I like to, if it's like a lean meat, like a turkey or a chicken, don't worry about it. It's just going to add more flavor to it. So now we go to the next part. Okay, so we add, start adding the ingredients. Now, I like to add the tomatoes and stuff first. And we're going to start with that. There you go. You get the tomatoes in there. This is not easy to do first person, by the way. I just want you guys to know that the camera's a little all over the place. All right, then you go with the beans. Now you hear all the time people saying, you can't put beans in chili. Well, you know what, you can put whatever you want in chili. It's chili, it's like a stew, you can do whatever you want. Heck, one time I put, I found some red uh, potatoes, chopped them up, threw them in the chili. You can do whatever you want, it's chili. That's the secret, that's my secret recipe. The secret recipe is, there is no secret recipe. You can put whatever you want in it. You can ask anybody who's ever had my chili before. I've never actually made it twice the same. Okay, so now we've got the mushrooms going in. All right, uh, we got the chilies going in. There we go. The rest of the beans. And the best part about this recipe is it's incredibly easy. Because all you do is you dump it in the bowl. It's really easy. If you got game day, if it's Saturday or Sunday and you got people coming over to watch football and you didn't get anything ready, you can make this in 10 minutes. Whip it up and let it slow cook for maybe an hour or so and you got the perfect meal. Now, this is when I would usually put onions in here. But as you can see, there's no onions here. And the reason for that is I have a pregnant wife and she has a complete aversion to onions. And you don't want to make a pregnant wife upset. So no onions going in this chili today. But you can yourself. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put the salt and the pepper and I'm going to put the hot sauce in there. I'm going to put a little bit of chili seasoning. I like McCormick's. That's my favorite. You don't want to put too much in that because you want to be able to uh, put whatever you want in it, whether it's salt, pepper, uh, chili powder. You make it yourself. But I like to use the McCormick's uh, chili blend just to kind of give it a little bit of kickstart. So anyway, that's my chili recipe. You can do it however you want. That's a base. That's a start. But I'm telling you right now, 
Like I said, chili's like a stew. The secret is you can put whatever you want in it. Thank you guys. Thank you, Battered and Brewed, for wanting to feature me. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Make sure you subscribe on the link down below. If you haven't already gotten your free song, make sure you go to giftfrommark.com. Get your free download from my upcoming album. Also, find me on my socials. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Everything is at Mark Break Country. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Battered and Brewed. You guys are the best. We'll see you soon.